With traffic across the city getting worse and worse, some Boston drivers are starting to wonder whether one answer might be as simple as retiming the traffic lights. Taxi and rideshare drivers say that the signals in many of the city's most congested quarters don't seem to make any sense. You can get like two green lights and then no move. We keep back up. Bumper to bumper. They hit red light after green light for no reason and watch green arrows operate at the same time as crosswalk signals. Here on Boylston Street, every left turn you try to make, there's pedestrians have the right of way. So you got to sort of squeeze in between the pedestrians and there might be one or two cars that goes by at, the, at a time. We get this green light and here we go, another red light, like 150 feet more. We rode along with Uber driver Alan, who took us to the worst bottleneck area he drives through, Longwood Medical Center. At 3 o'clock in the afternoon, it took us a half an hour to travel about a mile from Kenmore Square to this intersection. We sat through five light cycles before we could finally turn left. Now imagine that during rush hour. I mean, there's traffic, but it's it's the light that's making it worse. It's not like, you know, there's a Red Sox game or something. Right. Oh my God, what happens when there's a Red Sox game? Sometimes they have day games. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Just, I, I stay out of that area. Drivers told us other dreaded lights included those along Boston's Mass Ave and the streets around the Museum of Science. 593 of Boston's 869 traffic lights are computer programmed and monitored here at the Boston Traffic Management Center. Engineers are doing their best to keep drivers moving, but Boston's unusual street design makes that difficult. Boston's not built on a grid like some other cities. Uh, we're, we're an old city and we try to really accommodate a variety of roadway users. The the city has also started piloting adoptive smart traffic lights in the Seaport District, which they say may enable more rapid response to gridlock. But in the meantime, they'll go intersection by intersection to try to alleviate your stress. You know, each intersection is pretty much a unique design. Reporting from Rush Hour in Boston, Megan Adelini, The Boston Herald.